<laughs> we are back, brothers! Alright, so we need to get through that door, which means we need a key, and we know exactly what to do for once. Actually, I don't know. I do. That's a... <laughs> I'll, I'll guide you to victory through this pointless room. Why did they put fire in this room? It's just another obstacle to be overcome, and for what? To make the game five seconds longer? Well done, Nintendo. Nice job. Well, I am playing the flagless. Yeah, because we got finally got our Y splitter, which means that the, the video we're looking at right now is the correct video. Means that, which means when we, when we tell the game to do something, it really does it. it does it instantly. Well, as instantly as it can with um, game controls, which are actually we control the game controller. And I know that was poorly explained, but you know what? I think you can figure out what's going on here. No lagsies. Right, so, when we first came in here, we started the project to determine whether or not Ganondorf is a woman. So, do you think we've gathered enough evidence to that end? Sure, why not? Okay, so let's evaluate it, alright? Alright. Okay, so in that big room we just left, there's a huge statue of a lady with a snake around her neck and holding her palms out. It's kind of a Hindu message. And Hindus are a patriarchal society, so that goes towards man. Then again, it is a huge statue of a lady. Could, could that actually have member identification? I don't know. I don't even know. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's male because of the, sim the symbolism. Alright, we need to get all the coins in this, um, corridor section thingy. And that's what we need to do. Alright, so, besides that, Naburu is here, and this is a mainly matriarchal society that set up this temple, but he has stuff going on in here that's going against that, so that's a point for man. What else is there? What else is there? Everything. You have the silver gauntlets and the mirror shield, which are both tools that generally guys would use, so... Okay. So far, it actually turns out that Ganondorf is a man. Who'd have thought? Oh, that's very pointless. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you see that on the ceiling? I did. I never noticed that before, so there's actually two in here. Yes, um... Spoiler, when you, uh... When you finish this... Uh, room, I think you get a... Hmm, wait. Okay, I'm confusing myself. Let's kill these things. I forget what they're called. Larvae, or... It's not larvae, what am I talking about? And Let's find out. Lever! Okay, so all these levers is... And yeah, you gotta wear the hover boots to stand on the sand here, because that's how logic works. Uh, what was I talking Okay, so... You get something out of doing this. I forget what it is, because it's been about a week since we've gone through this, and... Well, I remember what we have to do. Apparently, traffic doesn't. But that's okay. Uh, okay. What? I think it's self-explanatory. I'm confused. About what? About you. How are you confused about me? Because you said you keep saying you're confused about me. So is this something new or something old, or something brown or something blue? Both. So I'm Amy Bond. Yep. But I, I don't have boobs, and I, I'm not pregnant with a time head baby. Are you sure? Well, I did put on a little weight. <laughs> I do feel a little bloated, and I am made out of flesh. Oh my god, I'm Amy Pond! I'm the woman! I started this whole thing <laughs> as a deflection of female issues. So apparently, I should change my name to Mrs. Santa or something. <laughs> or would it just be Miss Santa because I'm single? Or are you? I'm Bat Santa. You're Banta. What? I don't even that know. That sounds like something for the Star Wars Holiday Special. Yeah, it turned out to be a good idea because I have to come back here and do this with me. Like, yeah! That's so smart. Banta. Yep. You're, you're fucking kidding me. Nope. Why aren't you kidding me? You must kid me. I demand you kid me. Nope. I demand you turn me into a juvenile goat. Or is that a juvenile fox? I don't remember. I think it's a juvenile goat. I don't even know. Oh, famous, I don't know. 
Look at the book. Man, our old man Miss Goth got a very manly voice there. Just look, look at the book, Jill. Look at the book. Nope. Working on my articulation. And that is what we need for everything! Yay! Unlock all the things! If only. There should be a skeleton key sheet. There probably is, come to think of it. Or just infinite keys. I wonder if they'll do that in the um, future Zelda thingy where, like, you'll have a dungeon and there's, you have a bunch of locked doors but there's no key or whatever, but, and you open up a, a chest and you get a skeleton key. And it unlocks all the doors. Do you think that would be a good idea? I don't even know. Because I know with the Link to the Past, I did this. they did that partially because they used the big key so that you can open the chests and, like, the big doors. Just wondering, like, if they did that for all the doors, if that would be a good idea. It would add, it would add a different element to Dungeon Crawling. So, not the sort of thing we're dismissing. Oh, yeah, we skipped a couple of rooms back there. Did uh, we? Uh, yeah, we skipped the, the... the Oh, yeah. Yeah, we skipped the... the how would I explain this? <laughs> okay, there is a room. Why? Where... <laughs> where... Um, you know the giant from the forest meadow when you're an adult and it blocks the way to the forest temple? One of those is in hidden there. And you have to kill him and get past this little puzzle involving song playing. And you get through that and you get through another room and you end up... You end up getting hit by a keys. No. You end, you end up getting a Skulltula. We skipped that room because all you get is a Skulltula. Okay, and, and the other thing we skipped is... Um, there's a key... The keys... <laughs> There's a key that we could get as a kid, um, but as far as I can tell, we don't need it because we decided not to go for the extra stuff. And now we have to collect all these coins because the puzzle just got me. And it's decidedly tedious, so... Hmm. Yeah. It's fairly simple, but just boring. Yeah. So no any good songs? Because I'm not sure what to do at this point. It's like, I don't know why that is. Like, some panels you can hook shot onto and some you can't. The hell? Uh, sliding panels hurt you. Like a vertical earthquake. Oh my god, that's the neatest idea ever. Vertical earthquake. My brain is on fire right now. That is the... I like shark right now. No, except not. That's... I like that. Link grew a brain. Yay! Link is not special anymore. <laughs> Yay! Link knows how to progress on his own. He's all grown up! I think that's an extra room that we don't need. But we do need to play this song. We could be wrong. But we don't have Pong. But you are Amy Pond. I was gonna say, and I'm not wearing a sarong, but why are you trying to remind me that I'm Amy Pond? I'm still traumatized. <laughs> nope. Because, I mean, where's Rory? I'm supposed to be married to a guy. I think that makes more sense than I thought. Because <laughs> I am the gay. <laughs> okay, um, we need to find a switch. I think it's under one of these crates. I think it's this one. Well, you're wrong, aren't you? Apparently. There's no apparently to it. You are wrong! Jizz. Jizz. Did you see the new Jizz episode? Nope. Uh, Grant didn't really care for yeah, it. Yeah, no, I told me. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, but I really liked it. I thought it's like if they tried to make jizz a little more, uh, like if it were more, more like an actual show, that's probably what it would look like. And it's like it's trying to kiss Rarity on the other screen is kind of weirding me out. I mean, I, not only did I just find Amy Pond, but we've got interspecies nasty happening on the other screen. This is the weirdest day ever. <laughs> what? Why did you do this to me? That was fun. You're the worst brother ever. Except not. Ah. Yeah, except for, um... I'm just kidding. I don't know if he's a bad brother or not, but, um... What kind of name is that anyway? Jeb Bush. It sounds... It sounds so Jeb Bushy. Uh, yeah, I think you need to use the reflection. Yip, 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 yip. Frickin' light mechanics. It has to be exact! I don't believe what that does is that it, it, it turns off the ring of fire around this this mirror so that you can get it to point that way. And that's all you need to do, if I'm correct. Or I need to push this one, so basically. Well, I mean, as far as, like, timing of the puzzle, like, 
that's the only thing you need for um, turning that sun thing on. And yep. Yep. I don't get really the light mechanics have to be so picky, because I mean, this is Nintendo, I don't recall that everything has to be so strictly that way and this way, because normally there's like, you can solve puzzles in more than one way. Whereas in Majora's Mask, you can be not facing the light and you can still reflect them. Yeah, so it's, it's smarter that way. Another reason why Majora's Mask is better. Oh yeah, I forgot that they'll still do that. <laughs> you can get a wall monster falling down here, even when that, that's happening, which admittedly is a brilliant plan, because it's just the last thing you're expecting. But at the same time, it's just so dastardly, you know? Alright, so we proved that Ganondorf is a man, despite the whole woman-snake complex, and now we have to chase down Miles J. and Kingsley for revenge! Against... I guess that would be unfounded revenge, wouldn't it? I forget the rest. Something, 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 I don't know. But anyway, we have to kill these bitches. Well, not just yet. Well, it does happen to happen sometimes, because as you notice, they do not have their hands on their hips. But neither does Link. Well, um... Shitty panties. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna summon shitty panties? Um, uh, well, yeah, I mean... I mean, it's not like I'm Yuna, but I am Amy Pond, and that, and all females are summoners in major games, so that means Amy Pond is a summoner. Trying to move the mic without making any noises. It's going to happen. I'm trying to do it without it, though. I kind of actually like the red theme that this, um, what, what do you call these things again? Uh, I want to know the name of everything! Iron Knuckle. I don't know why I forgot that. It's a simple name. It's because they keep changing it every game. Yeah. Wait, do they? Yeah. Oh, that, there's like the... in Windbreaker, Dark Nut. Iron Knuckle, Iron Nut. My nuts are made of iron. It's quite oh. painful. It's quite painful, actually. Oh my god, it's Miles. It is Miles. <laughs> Look at his hair. But wait, the witch was Miles. It's Miles' mother, okay. Or maybe it's Miles' daughter, son. Miles, Miles open the damn door! Oh, Miles, please tell me. Please tell me why. Whoop! If only we could accurately. She has white lipstick on. I just noticed that. That's kind of weird. And then she has yellow mascara. Or is that eyeshadow? I can never remember the two because I'm not in. She is Miles J. daughter, son thing. We'll call her a, a dun. She's a, she, she's a dun. She is a dun. <laughs> she is done. I think I just found the title for her video. <laughs> oh lordy. The hell? Yeah. So we're going to defeat Miles J and King, and Kingsley. Or my name's not Amy Pond. Wait, it's not? What's with that reaction? Uh, I don't even know. You don't know? You just told me I was Amy Pond and now you're backing out? Make up your mind! I'm having an identity crisis here, and we're not even 14 minutes into the video. Nope. <sighs> so, yeah, that looks grody. Well. I am all iris. Or retina, okay. The retina thingy. It's like, they have, they have no pupils, no irises, it's just all retina. Big, white, boneless retina. And we're going to smack them. Smack their eyeballs. Because that is their weak point, apparently. And they changed their colors in the, the, um, the game game version, which is... Not really required, but a nice touch. It proves they were paying attention somewhat. I thought that was... I thought that was neat. Alright, for killing these guys... We don't have any special strategy, it's basically ha however you think you would have to kill them is how we end up killing them. So... Uh, yep. Hmm... Let me think. Let me think. No. 
Why not? Because thinking is overrated. Prove it. Slash overrated. Wait, wait, you just... Does that mean you're just overrated thinking? Yep. So, thinking is overrated because of you. Yep. How do you intend to amend this? I don't. Right. Okay. Oh, I remember something. Okay, um... Well, should I tell them about the cuisine column? Uh, sure. Okay, um, there was this one time when the cuisine fell and who shall remain nameless put peanut butter, maple syrup, and a big fat chocolate chip cookie together in a sandwich. So gross. <laughs> so disgusting, and that's not the worst thing he's done. Have we even talked about the cuisine fall before? I have no idea. But in well, okay. In case we haven't, here here's something else he's done. He's put um Catalina dressing on salmon. And I don't remember the others besides he put ketchup on fettuccine. That's so nasty. And that, the first crime against cuisine he did is actually his most infamous, which is how all great crimes work. Oh, Miles, you so silly. Wait, I thought Miles and Kingsley would, would never work together in a relationship. So what's happening right now? No, no, they're they're bitching together. Uh they're bitching together and they become one by the by the fusion force of their bitchiness. Yep. That's a that's a marvel of science right there. You must research this. And I am going into research psychology, so this is exactly the sort of thing I want to do. I thought you were researching magic. I thought you were well magic is an integral part of psychology because it's not a real science. <laughs> there actually is a, like a I guess you could call it um What's the word for it? Uh, bam. Yeah, that's how you kill her quickly. But anyway, there's a like there's a phony science called parapsychology, and it basically talks about magic and shit, like tarot cards, extrasensory perception, and and they decentralized because their bitchiness lost its um centri uh, centripetal force. They lost all their torque. So if I'm understand correctly, if you have a lot of centripetal force, then you're probably gonna have a lot of quark along. I mean, quark. <laughs> you have a lot of quark. <laughs> we we'll probably have a lot of torque along. Is that correct, <laughs> Mr. Physics? I lived at Korea P. I'm not Navy. I lived at Korea P too. Wait, there was a Korea P too? No. And I didn't know about it. No. <laughs> There's Korea P and then straight up AP. So we actually took the same class. They agree. For some reason, the word haunt struck out to me. Ah! Uh, I... I <laughs> what struck out to me is Link's crotch. I was proactively detecting Wait. Link's crotch in my face. I think Grant's trying to get us to take him back again. No, 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 no. Wait, that looks a little different. That's... Because it's a little more purpley. That's not Grant. Uh, right, that, that, I, I don't know who that is. Oh well. Yeah. Some random troll. Hmm. Or maybe it's one of our new subscribers. Hi, subscribers. Sorry, we're gonna leave it there. Yeah, um, that's just how we roll. We did it to Grant, we'll do it to you too. Because <laughs> we have to be fair. We are fair in our unfairness. Right. Because that makes complete sense. And here comes the lady... Yeah. Boy thing, because she's done. She is the done, and she has no waste. Wait, I'm kid. That that means I'm Australian. Oh, but Link doesn't talk, so you can't don't have to fake an Australian accent. But supposedly I'm I was Amy Pond at some point, so I was supposed to be faking a Scottish accent. So <laughs> I'm kind of a crappy Amy Pond. Pretty much about those old witches, it only rhymes with witch. But yeah, I don't know what Miles J and Kings are gonna do now, I guess. Um, make more videos. Oh wait, something just occurred to me. They're ghosts now. And Miles J had a problem with ghosts. Does that mean he's afraid of himself right now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? If only we could simulate that. 
Uh, but not like the simulation we did in one of those Final Fantasy videos. Not that simulation. Something a little different. Press A. Press A? Mm-hmm. Press A again. I thought it was part of what you were saying. I like chewing on ice. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Alrighty! And what color is that? Like, burnt sienna? Kind of a bright orange? Sand. It's the color of sand. That means we must never show it to Darth Vader. You don't remember that? Anakin's, Anakin Skywalker hates sand. No, I don't remember that. Well, I guess I'm just more of a Rift Tracks person than you are. I don't think I ever watched Star Wars Rift Tracks. Really? Don't think so. Okay. At least, at least not all the way through. Ha, I'm the hero. Then what the hell am I? Um, you're Navi. And Amy Pond. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the hell? That was my brain melting and starting to pour out of my ears. Do it, slimy. It's so slimy. Help. Never say that again, you bitch. <laughs> well, um, I was, I think we're gonna leave it about here, because it's just a good stopping point, so, uh, we'll see you in a bit once I, once I push my brain back into my skull. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, Miles! <laughs>